everybody! Today we are going to be learning about how to make a spreadsheet and what a spreadsheet can be used for. Both it, It's helpful both to organize information and also can be really helpful when we're trying to do some math. I'm going to go through this a couple of times uh, with some information and what I want you to do is kind of listen along. If something sounds confusing, what's cool about doing this as a, as a video is that you can always rewind it and watch some parts again. So if I go too fast, just rewind a little bit and see if you can catch up to where we're at. All right, let's get going. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to create a spreadsheet. What comes up here is this grid. Da -da 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 Looks like graph paper. There we go. I'm going to give it a name. And I think for our project today, I'm, I was thinking of something to plan. I was thinking maybe I would like to do a spreadsheet to plan a party. So I'm going to call this party plan. Hit OK. Always give your documents a name so you remember what they are. You can find them on your drive again. Now I'm ready to go. All right. I said a spreadsheet, first of all, can help you organize information. I'm going to say that my mom has graciously said that I can host a party. I can have friends come over, we can eat food, hang out, whatever. The only deal is I have to spend less than $70. I need to give her a plan as to what I'm going to do and how I'm going to spend the money. Thank you, spreadsheet. You are on it. We are going to get started and see what we can do. All right. I know for this party I'm going to have to have a, a couple of, I'm going to want to have some food, right? So I'm going to make a column here. First thing I'm going to list is all the different items that I might want to buy for my party. Now each item, I'm going to tab over to get to the next column. So let's see here, I was on items, then I hit the tab key to move over to my next column. And now I know that each of those items is going to have some sort of cost to it. So my next column is going to be for cost. I'm going to tab over to the next column. And you know, I, I may want more than one of each item, right? If I have a party and I have only one cupcake, it's not going to make a lot of people real happy. So let's put in here not only a column for cost, but a column for number. Uh, number bought. That sounds right there. Let's do amount. That sounds a little better. Okay. And then I'm going to do a column here for total cost. Because if I only buy one cupcake, that's great. But if I buy 12 cupcakes, I'm going to need to multiply whatever the cost is by the amount of cupcakes that I buy in order to get a total cost for cupcakes altogether. Make sense? All right. We're now ready to make a list. I'm ready to enter some information under each of these columns. So I'm going to hit the return key, and that's going to send me now back down to my next line, and I'm going to be ready to start listing some items. So let's say that I want to buy... Uh, I think we're going to need some chips. Chips sounds good. We might also want some, uh, I'm all about cupcakes, right? So let's put some cupcakes in here. And you know what? I like to be a generous host. Let's give some uh, gift bags, too, for everybody that comes to my party. And uh, let's get some um, juice boxes, don't you think? Something like that would be pretty good. Juice boxes. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Next thing I'm going to put in here is kind of the price for each item. So I'm going to just use my cursor over here and chips. I'm going to put in the cost here for chips just by clicking. I can move over to that cell. So chips, you know, I happen to know cost about eh, $2 a bag. So I hit the, to get the dollar sign. I hold shift and press four. There's my dollar sign. Let's do $2 for the chips. Move on. We're here at cupcakes. Cupcakes, I don't know about you, I like the ones with frosting. A lot of frosting, those are the pricey ones. I'm going to say those are about $3 a cupcake. I buy the expensive ones. All right, gift bags. Hmm, gift bags, yeah, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe uh, $3 as well for a good gift bag. And last but not least, we have juice boxes. Now, I know they come to like, what, like eight in a box, eight in a, in a um, Eight in a box, maybe, and I think a box is probably around, I don't know, maybe six dollars. So let's put in, let's put in six dollars there. 
All right, so our spreadsheet is keeping all of our information organized, and now let's see kind of where we are in terms of price. All right, certainly one bag of chips is not going to be enough, so I'm going to click over here under amount. Let's say I decide, I'm thinking maybe six bags of chips. Cupcakes, I'm thinking six cupcakes. And uh, gift bags, you know, let's go with, uh, let's go with six gift bags. And juice boxes, you know, maybe I'm going to be able to get away with, uh, I better get two containers of juice boxes. And then that way there's going to be, because some people like more than one. All right, we're now at total cost. And those mathematicians among us might say, well, Miss Gall, all you need to do to find total cost is multiply the cost for one item times the number of items you have, and you'll get the total cost. Well, two times six, that's 12. Three times six, that's 18, and so on. And they would just go ahead and fill this out. I tell you, why do that when you can have the computer do the work for you? Let me show you a simpler way to get this, uh, get these figures in here. So to figure out total cost for chips, I'm gonna I'm gonna click here because this is where I want to figure out my total cost for chips. I'm gonna do a formula. We're gonna write a formula to show the computer that we want to do some math. I start off actually by doing an equal sign, and that lets the computer know that I'm doing some math here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna want to multiply the value in this cell here, which is my cost of chips, right? So I'm going to click on that cell, and you can see that it shows up here. That's cell B2. I'm going to multiply the cost of the chips per bag, and I'm going to multiply it times the number of bags I'm getting. So I need to do a multiply sign. It's really a weird thing. You know, usually a multiply is like an X. Don't do an X. The computer sees that as a letter. You're going to be looking here for the asterisk and it is on top of the 8 key. So what you have to do is you have to hold down the shift and then you press the number 8 and there's that little asterisk, that little star. All right, there it is. Multiply chips times the number of bags that we're getting, which is the amount in cell C2. Here's the magic. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Press return and shazam. Look at that. It did the math for me. Let's try that same process here for cupcakes. All right, I'm going to do a formula. I'm going to hit equals, and I want to multiply my cupcake amount per cupcake, which is the amount in B3, and multiply it times the number of cupcakes I'm buying. Use the asterisk times the value in C3, and I get fantastic, 18, terrific, hot dog. All right, moving on to gift bags. I'm going to multiply, ooh, start off by showing I want a formula, multiply the uh, price times the number I'm buying and of course the juice boxes we're going to show that we need a formula we're going to multiply the price times the number of packages I'm buying and we get 12 there we go all right so the next step here I've got prices for each of these items the question is will I have enough money to, you know, did, did I stay under budget? Let's take a look. So what I actually need to do now is add these numbers up all together. I'm going to make a new spot. I'm going to think I'm going to add these up and then maybe put them down, put that sum in this box here. I'm going to title this grand total, which will tell me the total of all of my items together. Okay. Now, those of you that are smarty pants, you might say to yourself, oh, I bet I could figure this out. All you need to do is do the equal sign and then add uh, this cell plus uh, this cell and then this cell and then this cell and hit return and you would get a total. And I would say you are absolutely right. I'm going to show you a faster way still. Especially if you have a big old long list, it gets to be a big pain if you want to click on add this one plus 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 this one and so on down, especially if you have more items. So really what I want to do is, is add this whole group. I'm going to do it as a group. So I'm going to go over here in the menu toolbar here. There's this function key. It looks kind of like this kind of funky E. I'm going to click on it and it tells you some functions that it can do. And look at that, it can provide a sum for you. So I'm gonna click on it once and then I, I, I scroll down to sum, click on sum, and it says, oh, 
Oh, you want to do some math. You want to sum some items up. You notice it put the equal sign and the sum there for me. And now all I have to do is show what it is I want to, what I want to sum. So I'm going to start on my first cell here. I want to start with summing this one. And I want to highlight this whole amount here. That did not work. Wrong number of units. Okay, try that again, Sarah. Sum. Okay. Just there we go. What I'm doing is I'm highlighting cells D2 all the way through D5, and this is going to um, capture all of them. Hit return. Look at that. $60. My mom is thrilled to pieces. She thinks she's going to save some money. I say, no, if you're giving me $70, I'm going to add some more things in here. It looks like I have an additional $10 to spend. What should we buy? What should we buy? What should we buy? I'm thinking $10 to spend. I'm thinking maybe two more bags. Excuse me, two more cupcakes. So I'm going to change my uh, cupcake total from 6 to 8. This is the beauty of the spreadsheet. Remember that what I did here was a formula. What I did here was a formula too. When I hit return and change this 6 to an 8, watch what happens to this value and to this value there. Ready? 1, 2, 3. Shazam! Did you see it? Did you see it? This automatically changed and this did too. This is what's so great about using formulas. Hey, I'm still four dollars off. What do you say? Uh, I'm thinking two more bags of chips. That should do it. Let's try that again. So I'm going to click here. Instead of buying six bags of chips, let's buy eight bags of chips. Watch how these numbers automatically adjust. Seventy dollars right on the nose. I say, Mom, get the car keys. We're going shopping. All right. Thanks for watching along, following along, and you guys are going to have a, a chance to kind of play with us a little bit with your park project um, soon.